Hi, this is Lisa Loves a Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little pocket or a little bag for your ear pods or ear pods. And it's super simple, very quick and easy to work up. You could add a little keychain thing. You could add embellishments, flowers, or something to stick something on the, the bag if you want. But today I'll show you how to make this. So let's get started. You're going to need some scissors a tapestry needle, and a crochet hook. And I'm using a size I crochet hook. And then the color of your yarn of your choosing. I'm using hot pink today. And uh, I'm going to start with a magic ring. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to put eight half double crochets in the magic ring. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to slip stitch the beginning, chain one, I'm going to do a half double crochet in that first stitch, I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch, and in each stitch around. So two half double crochets. So now I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning, chain one, put one half double crochet in that first stitch, put one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then the next one I'm going to put two half double crochets. Next one I'm going to put one, and the next one I'm going to put two. So the pattern for this round is two half double crochets and then the next one, one. Okay, so I slip stitch to the beginning. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch and then each stitch around. So I'm going to do that until I have completed seven rows and that includes the first little round. So I'll see you back at the seventh row, the end. Okay, I completed my seventh row. I weaved in my end, and now I'm going to, and I joined my seventh row together. Now I'm going to chain one. Actually, I'm going to chain ten. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this creates the loop. On the top of the bag and then I'm going to single crochet it oops to the next stitch and then I'm going to single crochet each stitch around and when I get to the end I'm going to single crochet around this so I'll meet you back at the beginning here okay so I've reached the end of that row and then now I'm going to so I've single crochet in my next, my last stitch, and then I'm going to single crochet at the base here of that next stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet in each of these stitches around. There's one. They might be a little tight to go in, so you might have to fight a little bit. And then I'm going to go in that last one 
and then I'm going to single crochet to the very first single crochet of that that row I'm going to slip stitch to that and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn and then now for the little loop here I make a slip knot For this little tie I'm sorry I'm going to chain 55 and if you want your little tie shorter that's fine there's really no rhyme or reason you can make your bags bigger or smaller whatever it's really up to you okay so I have the 55 chains completed I pull the knot, pull them up to make them knotted, cut them the same length, and now I I um, glued the little flower onto the bag to, for an embellishment, and then now I'm going to start in the front. So I think that where you have the loop in the back is the the back, and then let's do this the front. So I'm going to slide my hook under those first two. Pull one of those ends up through there and there's the beginning and this is where I'm going to stay and I'm going to leave these so you have something to tie to and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to skip those two and I'm going to go under the next two and I'm going to pull up my hook through there and grab the end and I'm going to weave it around I'm going to weave it around all the way like that skipping two over two under two over two under and this way it's kind of like a little um, it's a little pattern and then it keeps everything so there's the two here's two more I'm gonna pull up the loop through there there's two more Two more here and then this one you have two there and then you have two here and you have one there so it works out that I actually don't have to change my count so it has one in between so you have something to push it to and to tie it and so there you have it your little um, ear pod bag if I can get this tied and there you have it it's all set and ready to go you can have it cinched tightened you can even tighten it even more so thanks for watching like and subscribe